Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would film a bonus video for you guys. Please excuse this. I know I look like a hot mess. I just got back from the gym. But I wanted to share not only a grocery haul with you guys, but I really need to clean out the fridge, organize it, organize my pantry, get all the things done. So I thought I would just film a really quick video for you guys, getting my kitchen back in order. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead, jump into all of this cleaning motivation, and then I will share that grocery haul with you guys at the end. So as y'all can see, my fridge is packed to the max. So this needs to be organized and cleaned. I'm going to try to organize this. I don't think I'm gonna pull everything out over here, but I'm definitely pulling <laughs> everything out over here. And this is, oh my gosh, our drawers are looking like. And you can see it's definitely dirty in and here. this is the current state, oh my gosh, of my pantry, you guys. We are having major storage and organization problems in here. So I'm gonna try to fix this up, see what will work best in here. But yeah, right now this is just not working. So I'm gonna start off in the fridge, pull everything out. That way I can get the fridge nice and cleaned out and check everything, make sure nothing's expired. I definitely had tons of leftovers, so this was very much needed. And you guys, I thought that I was going to be able to clean the fridge out and the pantry before I had to get the kids from school. I was so wrong. <laughs> you guys will see. Oh my goodness, the amount of things that came out of the pantry was mind-blowing. Like, honestly, I need to shop my pantry because it was out of control. I highly recommend pulling everything out when you're doing a deep clean in the fridge because it really does help you take inventory and to just make sure the fridge is all cleaned out because crumbs get everywhere inside of here and you really can't tell until you pull everything out. All right, we're gonna start with these top shelves because you guys, it already filled up all of that space on the countertop. So first things first, gathering all the old leftovers. So with the leftovers, what I like to do is double bag it. So I just get some grocery bags, dump them in there, and then I'm gonna tie it up and throw it outside because I did not want inside the house to stink. Old food does not smell good. And we've already been having ant problems, as y'all know. So I wanted to make sure I dumped it outside, which I wanted to update you guys. A lot of y'all recommended the tarot ant killer. So I ended up ordering it online off of Amazon. And you guys, I think it's working. I got the indoor ones as well as the outdoor ones. And I am really impressed so far. I haven't had any more ants. So thank you so much for you guys recommending it. If y'all have ant problems, I'll go ahead and link the products that I ordered in case you're interested too, but definitely recommend. I'm hoping this will be the end of our ant problem. I just need you. I don't know what it is you do. I just want you. But now I'm just going through and getting rid of anything expired. I had two things of kefir and they had the same expiration date. So I just went ahead and combined them. I do buy the kefir for my daughter, Adrienne. She has really bad acid reflux and I don't really want to put her on medication. And the last time I took her to the doctor, they ran the test to see if she has acid <laughs> reflux. And they said that she doesn't, which I know she has to because she physically throws up in her mouth and like she has to run and like spit it out. Sorry, TMI. But I know that she has the problem. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna find a like home remedy to try to help her. And the kefir has really been helping her. So every single day I have her drink roughly about a half a cup of kefir and because it's fermented and it has a lot of probiotics and stuff, 
They say that it helps with acid reflux and I definitely think it's making a big difference for her. So I thought I would just share it with you guys in case you or someone you know suffers from acid reflux. Try a fermented food, a something with probiotics in it and kefir is definitely a good one and I have been just picking it up from our local grocery store. I know not every grocery store carries it, but I know for sure you can get it at Whole Foods. So just thought I'd share that tip with you guys. No pills left in your empty box. I wonder who you were before all this. Now it's time to organize inside my fridge. I had just went grocery shopping, which you guys will see that at the end of this video, but I just got done getting some groceries, so I needed to organize them into my little containers. So I have these clear bins that I also got off of Amazon. If you're interested, I will try to link it down below. And I love taking my eggs out and putting them in the clear containers because I just personally think it looks really cute in the fridge. So I went ahead, organized that. I'm gonna wash some of the fruit and put them into containers to help consolidate a little bit and just to have them rinsed and ready to go. That way, if the kids wanna eat it, they can just grab it and snack on it. I just put the tiniest amount of white vinegar in water and I only soak them, you guys, like not even 30 seconds to a minute. I don't like leaving it for a long time. Personally, I feel like it soaks up the flavor. So whenever you do this, I recommend doing it pretty quick, 30 seconds to a minute, rinses it really good, and it doesn't leave any sort of taste on it. So I rinsed my blueberries as well as my strawberries, and I'm just gonna cut the tops off of the strawberries. My kids like them whole, but they obviously don't eat the stem, so I just cut the stems off. And now we're ready to start organizing the fridge. I really struggled with how to organize it just because whenever you have like taller items and just like, I don't know, we have a lot of stuff and this fridge is super small. So organizing it has always been a struggle. So I just try to make sure I can visually see everything. I wanna make sure nothing goes bad or that we forget that we have something and then we buy more of it. So my focus was just making sure I could see everything well inside the fridge. You got me stranded Like a branch in the wind Tell me what you long for I want what you want. You left me so here's the few random things left that I'm hoping to fit into the crisper drawers. But this is what we have so far. Now we're going to pull everything out of these drawers and clean the bottom. This middle drawer was so gross. It had so much cheese stuck at the bottom of it. So I definitely needed to pull everything out and get these cleaned up. So 
how often would you say that you do a deep cleaning of your fridge? Because I'd say I probably try to do one every few months or whenever I see that it's getting really bad or if like there's been a big spill in there. Usually the kids will end up spilling something or you know drop something in there and then it calls for me having to deep clean it. That's usually when I end up doing mine but I'd love to know are you guys on like a certain schedule for your fridge clean outs or do you just kind of wait like me until it gets really bad. <laughs> so I know you guys are getting a little tiny sneak peek of some of the fall decor you can see on the countertop but just so y'all know this Sunday I have some fall decorating in my cleaning video just a little bit just like a mini de decorating with me and then I plan on doing some more decorating in a future cleaning video. But this Sunday's video is gonna be a really good one. I am doing tons of cleaning. It's gonna be three days worth of cleaning, plus a little bit of fall decorating. So be sure to come back this Sunday for all of that cleaning motivation as well. I love using these clear containers for the kids snacks that way it makes it not only contained but they can visually see what they have in there it makes it easier for them to grab it especially when they pack their lunches my kids do pack their own lunches so they typically go through and pick out whatever snacks they want so it just makes it a bit easier when they can see everything that we have All right, you guys, here is the fridge all nice and organized and cleaned. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. So up at the top, I have the regular milk in the back because we don't use that often. We have kefir, orange juice, and then I put the almond milk up front because we use this most frequently. I put my protein waters back here. They were too tall to go with the drinks, so I have two of those. I have my cream cheese back there, my Greek yogurt for my smoothies, and then I have these two single yogurts. I have my eggs up here so they don't get broken and then I have my boba pearls in the back so that doesn't get broken as well. I put my bone broth right there, I have my butter and then I have our leftover chicken wings from last night. I figured this is going to be like the leftover area or like cut up fruit um, which is why I put my strawberries and blueberries right here in my really nice container. And then over here, I have the kids' snacks. So I was going to clean and put these into a container, but you guys, we don't have that much room left in here. So I decided to leave it in there so it takes up less space and we can visually see it really well. So the kids will definitely eat it. Down here on this shelf is all of our drinks. So I have our non-alcoholic drinks on this side. These are the alcoholic drinks. And then in our crispers, I put my pepper jack cheese sticks in with the cheese slices, our turkey hot dogs, this cheese I just took out of the freezer because we're almost out of the big bag of cheese, which I went ahead and put into a Ziploc bag because this just leaks everywhere and then I have cheese all over the fridge. So I put it into a Ziploc baggie and then I went ahead and put the um, sausages in here. And then this is mainly the veggie drawers. And then I did have some extras that couldn't fit. So I put them down here. And then I have the kids' apples. So that is everything. I love it. It looks so much better. All right, you guys, now it's time to tackle this pantry. I got my step stool so I can get to the top. Uh, You can't even walk in here. 
I mean, let's be honest. This was definitely one of those tasks where you start it and you pull everything out and then you second guess yourself. Like, what was I thinking? You get super overwhelmed. Like that is how I was feeling. I was feeling so overwhelmed, but you guys, it is so worth it. Pulling everything out makes a huge difference because you can really see how much you have. Like I never would have thought I had that much stuff inside of our pantry if I wouldn't have pulled it out and just seen it, like visually seen everything. So I really recommend it, even though it is overwhelming, you just take one little step at a time, focus on one little thing at a time. So I really tried to pull out just a few of the um, shelves and then focus on those and then pull out the rest. That way I wasn't too, too overwhelmed. Here is everything just from those three shelves. Oh my goodness, you guys, I have way too much stuff and I'm not even halfway done pulling everything out. So I think I'm going to go through this stuff really quick, see what I can consolidate, get rid of anything that's expired before taking out the rest of the stuff. I'm really glad that I did this. I could find things that were expired, things that I forgot that I had and could use. So this was really good, even though it was a bit overwhelming and super time consuming, but you guys, it's so worth it. It's worth decluttering and organizing. It makes a world of difference. You just feel so much better after you organize something, when you walk into that space and it's organized. It's just the best feeling ever. <laughs> Let me know if you guys feel the same way. When you get done organizing a space, you're just like, ah, the feeling of accomplishment. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm just kind of going through and trying to make sure nothing was expired and also find a little bit better way to organize the things that we had in here. I had a lot of bins, like too many bins. I felt like I was kind of throwing things into the bins and then forgetting about the items. Like there was just so many in there that I wouldn't remember what was at the bottom of the bin. So I really tried to consolidate and use less bins and just tried to use my containers. Like I do have a lot of clear containers. So I was really trying to make use of those. I have this really huge thing of hot cocoa and there was only the tiniest amount left in there. So I went ahead, put it into a mason jar. That way it wasn't taking as much space up in the pantry. Now I'm moving to the last two shelves, try to get everything consolidated over here. This was one of the bins that I knew I wanted to get rid of. I had a bin that I kept the bread and tortillas in, but it was just too big and it really didn't hold that much stuff inside there. So I knew I wanted to get rid of that bin. So I was taking everything out of there and I was trying to decide what to do with everything at the bottom of the pantry. As you can see, we have way too many things at the bottom. We had a ton of drinks. And so my thought was if I could get those off of the floor and onto the shelf, that was like ideal. So that was the plan, but I knew I had to get rid of a lot of stuff in order to fit that onto the shelf. We were such a constellation wreck, no you to create. Oh my goodness. It would not be true Ashley fashion if I didn't make a mess with something. <laughs> so as you can see, I went to grab the box and yeah, the beef jerky fell out everywhere, which if you notice in the pantry, I had already did that recently and we have beef jerky all over the floor too. So 
I'm just a hot mess. All right, you guys, this is what my kitchen <laughs> is looking like. Oh gosh, we have way too much stuff. So I have basically got everything out. I got a sweep in here, mop, clean these um, shelves before I can put anything back. And then this is how much trash I've gotten out so far. So I'm gonna try to add some drinks into the fridge, get some of that out of the pantry, and then it's just about time for me to go get the kids from school. So I'm gonna have to take a break and leave this mess and come back and finish it in a little bit. The shelves are starting to look a little scuffed up, but at least they're all clean now. I did have some like cardboard stuck to the bottom of this one shelf, so I actually sprayed it with my Scentsy spray and then I left my wet towel on it and I went and picked up the kids, came back and I'm back now. And just having the wet rag sitting on top of it, it lifted it up with the spray and it came off. For the most part, I do have like a piece of paint that has lifted. That's why it still has like one little brown mark left, but that's because the paint came off. So couldn't fix that. Maybe one day I'll paint the shelves in there, but for now, at least they're clean and I'm going to sweep the floors and then mop it with my O-Cedar mop before I start reorganizing everything in here. On my recent trip to Sam's Club, I had bought a couple boxes of cans in bulk, so I really needed to organize my little can holder better because there was just no organization. Things were just thrown on here, so I'm taking the time to put like things together. That way, whenever I need something, it makes it a whole lot easier for me to find it. Just us two, me and you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I can't believe you love me. Oh, I tried to organize the cans as best as possible, putting all like fruit and baking cans at the bottom. I have diced tomatoes, all of my tuna fish together and then I have all my beans, more diced tomatoes and these are like other tomato products and then this is like side items. I'm gonna put that back over in the corner, tucked away. Since it's really heavy, I don't wanna put it on the shelf. So like I said, I really wanted to put the drinks on the shelves, so. I knew putting everything on the shelf, I was taking a risk of possibly getting to the very top and running out of room for all of the food, but I was hopeful. So I tried to fit all the cans down on the bottom shelf and then we're gonna squeeze everything else on the remaining shelves and we're gonna see if this works. Isn't it?
Standing up as firefighters You got me dancing in your store Or I'm looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire You got me feeling uncomplicated Whatever happens is meant for us Pressing into all the situations Alright you guys, here is the final look obviously i have a lot of stuff but it is so much more organized i can see everything a bit better and i'm hoping it will stay clean in here for a while so as you can see i wasn't able to get everything off of the floor but i put the dog food and the cat food in a bin we have our waters our extra beer our cans nice and organized i went ahead and put the drinks on the bottom shelf I went ahead and used this shelf for the bread and the tortillas and then I have my like artificial sweeteners in there, cereal, all the kids snacks in the bins, nice and neat. And then I went ahead and moved the containers right here and I tried to make them a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than what they were before they were all like combined. And then this is kind of the overflow stuff and the like bulkier items. So I have everything up there, just like extra flour, extra sugar all that good stuff and then we have our alcohol up there and then these are more extras overflow so i think it looks so much better you guys it took me so long but i'm really happy with how it turned out and then over here i just tried to organize it a bit better i put all my packets together and just tried to fill in the space nice and neat and i went through everything make sure if there was anything expired i threw it out and here is all of the trash that came out of the pantry. And I do have some extra bins, so that'll be nice. I can tuck those away for whenever I might need them. So I thought I would share with you guys my really quick grocery haul. This is kind of like in between stuff, not really meal planning, just kind of random stuff we needed. So I picked up this two pound thing of tilapia. I love tilapia for lunch, so I figured I can meal prep it, make a few of them. That way I have easy grab and go lunches with some salad. Ethan wanted some orange juice, so I picked up some organic pulp free orange juice. I often need milk for my recipes. We don't really drink milk, but for cooking I do use um, regular milk, so I got a thing of that. I also picked up some wild blueberry muffins. I thought the kids would love these as dessert or maybe for breakfast, so I got a thing of that. Blueberry bagels sounded delicious, so I went ahead and got some of those. I needed more saran wrap, so I got a thing of saran wrap. Also got some bananas, a bell pepper for a recipe. Ethan picked out marshmallows. He already got into them. He was so excited about those. I picked up some headbands. I thought these colors were really pretty. I got these for Aubrey. And then I thought these ponytails were too cute. They have like the little tie on them. Looks like a bandana. So I got those. And then I also needed some more ponytails for me and the girls. I love these. It's like a soft material. I love these. Yoda has been itching himself a lot recently. So I picked up this thing of flea medicine. I feel like he's like right around 15 pounds, but I just went with the lighter one just in case. <laughs> so I got that. I picked up this Curl Care leave-in spray. I figured I'd give this a try. My hair has been feeling really dry and I love the Hask brand. I love their curl cream, so I figured I'd try their leave-in conditioner. Ethan loves hot dogs for lunch and all my kids prefer turkey hot dogs. So got a thing of turkey hot dogs. My scrub mommy is looking pretty gross. So it was time to replace it. So I got another scrub mommy. I got two 12 count things of eggs. Oh my goodness, you guys, eggs are so expensive right now. I paid $3.75 for each of them. So crazy. Um, and then Yoda ran out of his dog food and I buy him the blue buffalo small breed chicken and brown rice recipe. He really likes that, so I got him that. I picked up a pineapple. Aubrey was asking for pineapple and we haven't had one in a while, so I got that. I picked up two different things of organic pumpkin puree. I figured I'd see which one I like better. My friend Krista was making a homemade pumpkin spice uh, like creamer to go in her coffee. So I picked these up so I could try to make it myself. She said it's really good, so I'm excited to try it. And for that recipe, you need pumpkin pie spice. I don't have any, so I picked up a thing of that. 
and then I needed some more minced garlic. I recently ran out and where, I just bought this, I don't know where the oh. lid already went, but I needed more cooking spray. And whenever I buy cooking spray, I do try to get the one that doesn't have any propellant. So I got the one that says um, no additives or chemicals. And then I needed some more honey. I recently used it all in a recipe. So I got some organic raw and unfiltered honey. I also wanted some salad to go with my tilapia. So I got the baby spring mix. I have been using half and half of my coffee recently, so I got some more half and half, and I just used some like stevia or something like that to sweeten it up. We ran out of Chick-fil-A sauce. This is a staple in our house. The kids love that. And then I got some Italian sausage for one of my recipes, and my husband loves Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage, so I got a thing of that for him. I love putting mushrooms in my eggs, so I picked up some Baby Bella mushrooms. And for fruit, I got some blueberries and some strawberries. They were actually not too bad priced right now. And the grapes were on sale for like $1.78 a pound. So I got a big bag of green grapes. And then this is the milk we use for cereal and stuff. So I got the unsweetened vanilla silk almond. And then the last thing we needed was a case of water. So for all of this, you guys, I spent $177 so crazy. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Get it all done, declutter, organize, and the grocery haul. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help support my channel. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family. I do upload cleaning content every single week, and I would love to have you here. And make sure if you haven't checked out my vlogging channel, head over there and check it out. If you guys are interested in grocery hauls, recipes, vlogs, I upload a few times over there a week as well. And I would love for you to join my YouTube family. My channel name over there is Ashley's Busy Life. So make sure you check that out. I always have it linked down in my description. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.